Hey, what's up everybody? Matt here from Everything Awesome. Today, I am going to change this strut dampener in my 2006 Mustang. And the first thing we're gonna start with is this. This is the top of the strut dampener, so you'll have to um, unscrew this bolt. And the reason I'm changing this strut dampener is because I've been hearing a clunk and my back end has been pretty bouncy. And this is uh, relatively loose. I'll show you more when I get the tire off. We're gonna take this tire and take this tire off right here. And then once we get the vehicle jacked up and this tire off, then we'll be able to take off that strut dampener and put in a new one. So I'll see you guys in a second. So I was able to get the wheel off and now there is only a few more steps to get this done. I'm going to start by loosening that nut. I'm going to get that loose and taken off. I'm going to I'm going to leave the bolt in place so that way when I go to take off this nut and the trunk, when I go to take this off that uh, hopefully it won't make it spin. Um but yeah, let me get started. I am going to get my socket wrench and get working on this nut. Okay, so to start, I've got a crescent wrench on uh, this nut that connects to the bolt. And then I got my socket wrench with a 15, 15 millimeter socket. A few moments later. All right, that should do it. Beautiful. Now, let's uh, I'm gonna take you up top as I get the other nut off. I've got a 15 millimeter wrench and I got a little tiny uh, 932 wrench for the top here. Um, I'm gonna see if I can hold this nut in place. I might need to use pliers uh, and see if I can break this off. But first I am gonna spray a little bit of WD-40 just so hopefully that uh, helps loosen that up. Get it all nice and lubricated. Stop it. Get some help. It's finally able to get that pesky nut off. And as you can see here, this is the, uh, the uh, rubber gasket washer that goes in between. And there is the top of the strut dampener. So let's go down over here. Right. Now, as you can see, this, uh, maybe if I have the flashlight, you could see that this is just, um, this is loose and it's not, let's see if I can compress it. I can compress it by hand. Let me see if I get this on camera. I can compress it by hand and pull it down. But in regards to the strut, it should be uncompressing all the way up into the, uh, the hole that it goes in. Let's see if I pull on it here. Okay. Yeah, now granted this, uh, the car is not under load. It's being, it's jacked up, so there's no weight. And if there were weight, uh, it will go back up in there. And we may have to, um, we may have to jack it down or uh, jack it down onto a block of wood or something just to get it to press up into that hole. But we'll see when we get there. So let me get this out. Okay. Now, as you can see right here, this nut is blocked by, I believe this is a sway bar, some type of a sway bar linkage. Um, 
the nut is not going to come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a jack stand just because I don't have a block of wood big enough. I am going to place the jack stand on something solid, something solid here. Put the jack there. Jack the car up a little bit. Get this other jack undone. Okay. Be sure to uh, move your other jack out of the way before you lower your car. And take it real slow, just to be safe. All right, now that I uh, release some of the, uh, or actually put some weight down on this, this nut will come, just come right out. And take our, there. Okay, so we got the, uh, I got the, um, strut dampener out and look at this thing it is definitely old there's a lot of play in it as well um, which tells me that that is most likely the sound that i've been hearing and why the suspension has been kind of crappy all right i'm gonna grab the the new uh strut and i'll bring that over this is the uh strut that i'll be putting in there it's a monroe strut i got this off of amazon um they make a lot of a lot of parts i'll put a link in the description so you could check it out but it was super affordable like really cheap um wasn't too bad uh, for the money this mustang is is definitely not a show car so uh it's better than beat broken old parts and it does a job i actually changed the um passenger side strut with a monroe strut uh as a test to see the quality and it, it wasn't too bad it's pretty good it does the job um granted it's not incredible but hey it works so let me get this uh let me get this guy on here now this leave this on um and then just cut it off once you get it uh into uh position still uh lower down on this jack stand um still have the clearance to get this bolt back through just simply slide the bolt back in. Take your um, your nut that is over here. Let me tighten this with my fingers. Get this tighten on. Okay, got that hand tight. Okay, so I got that tightened a little bit, um, enough to where I can still move this around. Now I'm going to cut this uh, this blue safety wire. I'm gonna cut this off here. Oh, if I cannot break the scissors, <laughs> let me get a pair of shears. Okay, so we got that off. And as you could see, uh, it's slowly expanding upwards you see it's slowly going up into this hole here which is great now there is also uh also going to have these and we need to put one of these washers So you could see, you could easily press down on this. Uh, we're gonna take this washer like that and put this uh, put this on this side. Let that go back up. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, up top. Now that we've got, uh, let's see if you could see. In there now that we we've got that through i'm going to put this uh this rubber boot on first slip that on then take this metal washer put
put that on. And then the new nut. And this nut is going to go back on top here. Okay, let's tighten this up. So the uh, nut and washer and uh, rubber boot is all put together up top. Now, just need to tighten this into place. That's all there is to it, really. It's not too bad, it's not too hard. It's just kind of awkward position to get in at some points. But for the most part, it's pretty simple. Um, easy to do, and it's better than paying somebody else a ton of money to do it on your vehicle. Now, all that's left is uh, I need to mount the tire back on and tighten the lug nuts and we're good to go. So thanks for watching this, uh, this video. Hopefully it, it gives you a little bit of help. Um, there's more to come on this Mustang. Like I definitely, uh, will be doing like body work. Whoever owned this Mustang before I did, uh, dinged it up pretty bad. There's some body work to be done there. Uh, some stuff here in the front, but in the summertime I did vinyl wrap did vinyl wrap my hood, the roof with this sweet um, carbon fiber vinyl wrap. Uh, I think it was made by Vivid. Um, so there's that. And then I also vinyl wrapped the, the tail lights with this sweet holographic uh, tint. It's also a smoked tint, so they look kind of blacked out, but not like all the way. As you could see right there, it's kind of dark. Um, I did this with a hair dryer, which I totally, if you're gonna vinyl wrap, just buy a heat gun. Um, you don't wanna use a hair dryer because it won't come out the best, as you can see. Uh, it didn't heat up enough to get this all wrapped well. So I'll probably be redoing these um, with uh, with vinyl, or I might just be um, buying new tail lights and putting those in. But once I get the body work done, the next set, the next series of videos is uh, gonna be me vinyl wrapping the rest of this Mustang. Now, I've never vinyl wrapped before other than the hood, uh, the roof and those tail lights, but uh, it turned out pretty sweet. Turned out really good, no bumps. Um, I even did it outside, which again, wouldn't recommend doing because of like dust and stuff flying around. But, uh, when I get to the body work, I'm gonna get that done. And then from there, I'm gonna uh, do the vinyl wrap. So if you guys stay tuned, you can catch the rest of that. So catch you guys later, peace.